Now we can look at the frontal plane. In the frontal plane, we want the same thing. I need to keep the knee straight, hip flexion, but this time it's not dorsiflexion we're looking for, but kind of ankle inversion, which is where the sole of the foot or the foot kind of supinates. So let's come over here a little bit. By stepping this way, I get frontal plane distance between the two attachments, origin and insertion of the hamstrings. Um, all of them, biceps femoris and the uh, semi, semi tendinosus and membranosus muscles. And notice how the foot naturally inverts or supinates. Now, all I need to do is to increase the hip flexion by reaching with my hands. If I reach forward, I'm getting hip flexion. I'm not so much targeting the hamstring as if I start to move closer here. And the classic hamstring game is to try and touch your toes. And as we said before, it's not about isolating the hamstring here, it's about knowing the group of muscles with which the hamstring works. So we're here, we're mobilising, we're stretching the perineal muscles, the hamstring muscles, the glute muscles, the lats on the opposite side, QL, everything's being moved around. <laughs>